Hi guys, silently and quietly, I have been updating the Arcanix Tweak Tool, which will not refer anymore as the Arcanix Tweak Tool, but the Arch Linux Tweak Tool, and it doesn't matter for us because ATT, right? That's the keyboard, the, the shortcut to launch ATT, Arcanix, Arch Linux Tweak Tool. Have, we have to learn to say it all over again. So ATT stands for Arch Linux, and you can venture with me on this journey. And what do I mean? I have a system that's ArcLex, I have a system that's Endeavor OS, and I have a system that is Garuda. So I'm opening my horizon and having a look at other distros because I want to make an ArcLex tweet tool, sorry, an ArcLex tweet tool that works anywhere. And the first thing I tackled is this one, Pac-Man. All the rest is not visited yet. So gradually over time, I'll uh, make some updates and see what I miss or what I can change for Garuda, for EndeavorOS. Of course, it stays the same on our clicks. We get a little bit more switches than before, right? And the best way to show that is through Sublime Text. Let's see, it's still open, it is, and all the rest can go. So this is our default Arclinix pacman.conf, so slash etc slash pacman.conf. This is what you have, and of course you can edit things, but this is, yes, this is the original one. It has no reference to Garuda, it has no reference to the Celtic set from Garuda, and therefore as uh, repo or nemesis repo. There is no references in here. This is the default. So the tool sees what's in there, what is colored and why is it colored? Because I set it to Perl in Sublime Text. So I know visually when I click something, something happens. So if I don't want the Arcanix repo, it's out. It's just a few hashtags and it's gone. That means if you update your system, and update is equally good. Then you see one line less. So it's an easy way to do the same as an Pacman. And an Pacman is just a editor, so a nano. And it, of course, you can do exactly the same here and put hashtags in front of them, etc. So you don't need the tool. That's important for you to know. It's there because we like to have fun in Python and GTK but it's not really necessary. You can just open it up here and open it with Sublime Text or open it with Nano. It's all the same. The thing is, it's there. So we can say click, click, and add our Chaotix repo. If it's not there, it will be added. If it's there, it will be just hashtagged out or hashtagged, well, made active again. And Endeavor repo is extra and Nemesis repo, some icons are there, is extra. You can then go for an update, update <laughs> is good, and you see what is available. So for updating, nothing happens, but it's of course the PAMAC that's interesting. So if you go to PAMAC, and this is our Arcolix PAMAC all, you can have a look around and say, okay, what's on Celtic AOR? This is on Celtic AOR. What's on Endeavor OS? This is on Endeavor OS. What's on Nemesis repo? This is on Nemesis repo. And of course you can keep on adding repos, but that's there in the custom. Add custom repo and then apply custom repo. Done, it's in there. It will be a few lines extra. Of course you can copy paste them here or type them via nano, type it in. But it's here. Now, another thing, well, this is interesting, working on ArcLinux. So if you're working on Endeavor OS and it says you're working on ArcLinux, something went wrong. It will think you're an ArcLinux and will do things supposed to be doing on ArcLinux or Garuda. So it will tell you if you install the ArcLinux tweak tool on Endeavor OS on Garuda, where it is. It knows where it is. And with that switch, we can do things, right, differently. So if on then do this, if on, then do that. So that's an important thing that I almost forgot to tell you. 
And the other thing I'd like to point out is if you say, oh my God, I messed it all up, which can probably be the case, right? You can reset Pacman. And in this case, for instance, it will know, oh, look, I'm Arch Linux. I'm going to get the pacman.conf from Arch Linux. Nothing changed and everything is back the same uh, as it was. If you're on Garuda, if you're on Endeavor, the same things. So if you click the button, you get the Endeavor or the Garuda etc pacman.com. Now, sometimes, well, we want to be in control because I've told you in several videos already that what is first wins. So if we have a package, let's say what we uh, of, well, often is, is a bad word, twice a year, right? We have Discord on Telegram. Those are our telecommunication or communication channels. Meaning if Arcalix, sorry, if Archlinx does not update the package, we are out of luck. I mean, there is no communication. It's, it's, it's flat out broken. What we do is we add a Discord. We build it ourselves, the Discord or Telegram, those things that we need that are essential. Sublime Text, for example, as well. That's essential for us. And we put them on the Arcanix repo, which means nobody is the wiser. The update comes from us and everything works fine. And all the people of Arch Linux have problems, have issues. But we don't because we, well, we, we got the bad uh, package in, we build it ourselves and put it on the Arch Linux repo. So the first one it comes across wins. So this one wins and Arch Linux Discord can be broken, fine. We'll never get there. It will get it from the Arcanist repo. So that's the importance of the, the yeah, the, from top, top to bottom. It will, if it finds the package in here, it will get it from there. So if that's important to you, you can either go and, and switch everything around like this one and copy paste, etc. But I had this idea, why not make a blank Pacman? And again, it's a blank Pacman from either uh, Arcanix, Endeavor or Garuda, right? So this top com is coming from these three guys. And yes, uh, we're gonna put Arch in there as well. And then we'll grow, right? We'll see how it grows. The thing is, if we run this, and sometimes people do this, and they show me this beautiful image, what the problem, Eric? No usable package repository is configured. Basically, there is nothing there, right? You have nothing. Where should you get the packages? So let's restart because this guy, of course, is not on the fly updating old stuff, but we can have a look and let's, um, Kill this one, voila. And of course, it says there's nothing available. Uh, no, there's nothing available. And now it's up to you to decide. And it is always inserted afterwards. So if you know that, you could say, okay, I want to have the Arch, Arch Linux core repo. I want to have the extra repo. I want to have the Linux community repo. I'm not going to use the multilib this time. And you start updating and what you see, these lines. This is pure arch, right? If you go further, multilib, okay, update, multilib is there. So if the package from top to bottom, if the package cannot be found here, it's going to look here, it's going to look here, it's going to look here. It means that, I mean, anything from us, sadly and all that, it will not be able to install it. There is no package called Sadly Color Variations Icons Git on either of these four. So if to go further, say okay, fine. The testing repo, I keep away from testing repos. Maybe you haven't noticed, I never selected the testing repo. So maybe this one, and maybe that one, and maybe that one. What we've done is decide where the packages are coming from. The priority 
if it can't be found here, then there, then there, then goes down. So if I want to go up again, then it says, oh, look, it's available. I can install it, right? And so on it goes. Um, let's make you disappear. Keltix repo set as last repo. I've been talking with the guys of Garuda. And there is just this one package that is a, a, a bother and it's called grub silent, I think. And the tip is let's for now put it anyway as lost. So our grub does not get changed with grub silent. And then Endeavor OS Nemesis repo, you decide. So that's the idea to stay in control of the order by just clicking what we want. So reset Pacman if it's okay, whatever. This is again what we have. This is the article links or the Endeavor or the Garuda setup. It all matters where you are. Well, and that's what I've been doing with this little thing, Pacman, to get more control over, um, well, the most essential bit of our system, the package manager. All right, have fun.